In this video, we are going to look into another topic which is uh, related to the complex numbers or uh, even the imaginary unit which is the iota i. So, we are going to look into integral powers of iota or the i, alright. So, now the integral powers of iota is split into positive integral powers and negative integral powers. To start off with, we are going to look into positive integral powers of iota, alright. So, we start off with i being equal to square root of minus 1 and i square being equal to minus 1 obviously if a equals to square root of b then a square is going to be equal to b right squaring both the sides we get uh, i square equal to when you square a square root the square root gets cancelled so we have i square equal to minus 1 and then we have i cube which is equal to i square into i right and here in this case we have i square is equal to negative 1 and so negative 1 into i is nothing but negative of i that's all so i cube is negative of i and then we have i to the power 4 which can be written as i square the whole square so we have i square equal to negative 1 negative 1 the whole square which is equal to negative 1 times negative 1 which is equal to 1 so i to the power 4 is 1, i cube is negative of i, i square is negative of 1 and i is equal to square root of negative 1. So now if you're wondering how do we calculate i uh, for having integral powers of more than 4, that is um, i to the power of n which is greater than 4, alright. So for that it is very simple, let's start off here, i to the power n equal to what for n greater than 4. So, all that we are going to do is, if n is 5, we are going to divide 5 by 4 and see what the remainder is. So, we have 4 times 1 is 4 and the remainder is 1. So, this remainder is going to become the exponent for i to the power n where n is greater than 4. So, for i to the power 5, it will be equal to just i to the power 1 and then you can come back to this for the answers right and then i to the power 6 is going to be i square just for example i to the power 7 is going to be i cube and so on all you have to do is just divide that exponent by 4 and see what the remainder is and that remainder becomes the exponent so this ends the positive integral powers of iota so next let us get into the negative integral powers of iota Well, here we have it. We have i to the power of minus 1, which is equal to, by the law of indices, we can write this as 1 divided by i to the power of 1, right? So, what is i to the power of 1? Or rather, we can write it as i cube divided by i to the power 4, right? So, now i cube is given as, you need to just come back here, i cube is nothing but negative i divided by i to the power 4 is 1. So, therefore, i to the power of minus 1 is nothing but minus i. So, here we have it. And then, we have i to the power of minus 2, which is equal to 1 divided by i square. So, this is very simple. 1 divided by i square is nothing but negative 1. So, 1 divided by negative 1, which is equal to minus 1. So, i to the power of minus 2 is minus 1. So, i squared is the same as i to the power of minus 2, right? And then we have i to the power of minus 3, which is nothing but 1 divided by i cube, which can be written as i divided by i to the power 4, right? If you just cancel this, you're going to get 1 divided by i cube. So, now i is nothing but I mean, let's keep i as i. Let's not write it as square root of negative 1. So, it will be i divided by i to the power 4 is 1. So, it will just be i. So, i to the power of negative 3 is just i. And now, let us go to i to the power of negative 4, which is equal to 1 divided by i to the power of 4. So, since i to the power of 4 is 1, it's going to be 1 divided by 1, which is 1. So, i to the power of negative 4 is also 1. So, now again, the same thing as 
here now what if this exponent is greater than negative 4 that is sorry actually technically speaking lesser than negative 4 what if it is negative 5 or negative 6 and so on so again all all that you have to do is just write it like this if you've got i to the power of say for example minus 5 then write it as 1 divided by i to the power of 5 and then divide 5 by 4 see what is the remainder and write it as 1 divided by i to the power of the remainder which is 1 in this case so if it is i to the power of minus 6 it will be 1 divided by i to the power of 6 divided by 4 the remainder is going to be 2 so it will be 1 divided by i to the power of 2 so this is how you solve the negative integral powers of i which is not very different from the positive integral powers except that you have you have to know the basic rules of indices that's all so that ends the negative integral powers of i thereby ending the video on thereby ending <coughs> the whole concept of integral powers of iota i so that ends this video i'll see you in the forthcoming videos with uh, problems based on integral powers of iota or i Thank you.